What's going on everybody? It's Cable Line Network here. How's everybody doing today? I'm chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Exotic Sparrow coming into Sparrow Racing for Destiny. Let's get into this. An Exotic Sparrow being brought into a content with, you know, is glamorizing all these different types of Sparrows would be amazing. Now, an exotic sparrow would be more useful than the previous free content, which were the mask. It would be way more useful than that. An exotic sparrow unlocked at rank four or five even of the um, you know sparrow racing league. That would be amazing. How to get this? Well, doing these bounties and such gives you already legendary sparrows. It basically gives you all the sparrows. All you have to do is the quest. That is not really going to leave a lot of imagination per se. Bringing an exotic sparrow into this would be amazing. It gives players a lot more to work for. None of the armor in here besides the helmets even give you light. The gauntlets and everything else don't give you light, it's only the helmet. Now I know what you're thinking, for spell races like this, light is not needed, but I would really like to use that stuff outside of this racing. You know, in battles, everything else for Destiny, an exotic sparrow would be amazing. Now, the perks on it, let's talk about the perks. Okay, now, I believe it would have some type of unique trail behind it. Similar to how the Ray Sparrows did with the boost. Yes, the boost will be on there. You can go side to side. You can do tricks on it. I believe with the Exotic Sparrow, you'll be able to do everything that you could do with these normal Sparrows on that Exotic Sparrow. Now, it's not like there's multitudes of Exotic Sparrow. It'll be unique to its kind. Players will have to really work hard and race hard in order to get this. Now, I'm actually in a, a game right now with some guys that are really addicted to this racing thing. Me, personally, I've never really been a racing game fan, but I love Sparrow Racing. It really is enjoyable. It makes me mad as all hell. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, just trust me. Sparrow Racing makes me mad as all hell. Believe me. You can ask any guy. Well, any, well there's one girl in here, but anybody who's game attack or seeing soon, my best is asking, does this make me mad? Yeah, it kind of does. I'm really still getting used to it. You know, this is probably like the fourth time I've done it, and I'm really getting used to it. I'm doing the bounties, and this is actually a lot better than Iron Banner. Now, the reason I can say that is by my own preference. Now, I love this. It's awesome. And the Exotic Sparrow would make this all the more amazing. Now, they don't want to make it too unfair, so they don't want to give, you know, the Exotic Sparrow a big-ass boost that just shoots them. Well, actually, let me think about that. Instead of the regular boost where your spirit will blow up, it goes off to gauges. Green, yellow, red. Have the exotic spirit just have a big ass boost. Like, how do I say? You remember how the old style racing games when you went past something? Oh, prime example just like this. It'll just boost you when you just go through the um the regular gates. This time it'll be like an explosion on the back of your sparrow that'll just shoot you in front. You have three shots. After the third shot, your sparrow will explode. Now, with the normal boosting sparrows, you have up until that light turns red. As soon as that light turns red, it's going to ding, like ding, ding, and then your sparrow's going to blow up. And then you're left ass in, in. You're basically left like ass out in the bleeding race. So you got to be really careful when it comes to that. But I would enjoy seeing an exotic sparrow being brought into Destiny, the Taken King. Now, apparently Destiny the Taken King is focusing on these um, whole little events things, which I personally think is fucking retarded. I personally, I personally, personally would have preferred them to work on solely DLC content, which I can pay for, and that's actually okay with me. I'm okay with paying for the DLC for any game. I really am. Hell, I'm gonna buy the season pass for Star Wars Battlefront when it comes out. Come on now. All right, guys. Now, this is Big Cable Line Never Care. Once again, thanks again for watching. You've been an amazing audience. Peace out and talk to you later. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment for more.